Hello guys, my name is Chichi Yakubu. Many of you know me as Nunyo GH. For the sake of this video and many others, I would like you to address me as Chichi Yakubu. I studied human resources at Central University Mutual Campus and back in school, I was always doing buying and selling. I've sold things that were related to fashion, food, tech, you name it. Once it's legal, I believe I have done it. Right after uni, I worked with Stambic Bank for a short while and I moved on to TNS where I gained employment as their human resource manager which I totally enjoy because I'm passionate about people because I believe they are the most important asset any company organization can have. I loved it there through and through. So what inspired me to start Nyo was actually weights. I was battling with my self-confidence, I needed to shed some weight, so I started prepping my own meals and people could see, my colleagues could see that Chichi, you are shedding weight, what are you doing differently? So I saw that what I was doing with my food was working for me. So I told people, if you're going to pay me, why not? I'm going to meal prep for you for a fee and they bought into it and now Nyonyo is here. I didn't leave my 8 to 5 job right away, I had to juggle the two because I wanted to be sure this thing I'm venturing into will actually really pay and can sustain my livelihood so I needed the job security. So I was doing it interchangeably and God being good I had employees who were so gracious unto me, who were so understanding, they changed my work schedule for me because what they believe is in productivity and when I come I get the job done. So they actually discussed with me and they agreed on this negotiation that I check in a little bit later than I should. So instead of 8 I come in at 10. So at 7 I'm already in the kitchen prepping my meals, by 8 I dispatch it and then 10 I hop into my 8 to 5 and do it and then the cycle repeats itself for one and a half years. So 18 months into the new new business, I knew that this is actually a business. I needed to employ more people. I needed to see it as a serious entity on its own. And I hired more people. That's when it became what we call a catering business. So now we're not only doing salads, we were doing the likes of Jollof, Banku, you name it. People started hiring our services for their um, gatherings, their celebrations, their weddings, their funerals. Anything that had item testing on it, Nyonyo was at the back of people's minds. Every stage of my business, I had a goal. When I started with the salad, my main goal was to see other women battling with weight shed the weight so to gain their confidence. Branching into catering, my main goal was to change the face of catering business. What we did with our catering business was that we saw every event, every gig as a big production. There was no event that was too small. Every event was taken seriously. So we show up well groomed up, well dressed up, and we fit into the entire coordination of the event. So that is, we know how to work with people. That is the other professionals that come on board. The decor, the planner, the videographer, the photography everybody was in sync how we get in sync with them was asking small questions like what is the decor theme are you going for a blue are you doing an african theme and then they'll be shocked that we'll come with our table linings fitting into their decor color or the theme they are going for people thought that we were serious and caterers never used to do these things punctuality is one of our key values showing up on time and changing the narrative that caterers are always late. building the right team that is hiring character and training skill because I believe that everyone has potential. It's for you to discover those hidden talents and build on it. With the right team and a common goal, we are able to deliver an excellent service to our customers, which keeps them coming back for more. Simple things like when a customer calls our restaurant and orders food, we save their number so that the next time they call, we address them by their name. That gives them the ultimate customer experience that everybody needs to be addressed by their name. Names are very important. Operating a restaurant has been one of the challenging things my team and I have had to do. Guys, you know what? Pleasing a hungry stomach every day it only takes passion to do it effortlessly every single day and to you our 100k followers thank you you all know that our business has thrived on social media specifically instagram it has been our number one marketing tool you guys your repost your like your comment has been nothing but a support a genuine support and i love you guys for staying true to the brand and being on your fight through and through and to my loving husband thank you for believing in me Guys, you know what? He wrote my resignation letter. He believed in me from the very onset. Thank you for doing this thing called life with me. And to you, my team, for believing and buying into my vision and doing it with me and riding along in this wagon because you believe it's a partnership. And to my support system, my parents, thank you for grooming and nurturing this beautiful, boss, fierce, hardworking woman. I love you guys dearly and God bless every one of you who has bought into my dream, has referred a client to us, has hashtag meals you bought with your own heart and money. 
posted it on the gram and i've hashtag nyonyo fight you guys are so loyal we love you i love you and god bless you